In this episode, we are going to have an insight of what's happening inside your brain when you're sleeping. Difference between REM sleep and the NREM sleep cycles, brain waves, circadian rhythm and sleep drive, the melatonin influence on your sleep. Here is a glimpse into the powerful, often surprising findings of sleep researchers. Almost one-fourth of every human being spends on sleep and compared to their total human lifespan. Earlier, it was thought that sleep is a passive process, but recent discoveries have initiated thinking about a lot of activities that are happening within the brain and hence the entire body. Now, basically, sleep is not a same continuous process, rather, it's in cycles. REM, that is rapid eye movement, and NREM, non rapid eye movement sleep. So, let's see what's this. NREM or non rapid eye movement sleep. Newer data suggests that NREM sleep is more important for learning and memory as well as being the most restful and restorative phase of sleep. Even NREM is divided into four stages. The first stage is a little, you can see. Uh, being awake and falling asleep and slowly from the falling asleep we slip into the light sleep when the heart rate and breathing regulates and body temperature drops and the third and the fourth stages are perfect deep sleep stages while REM sleep you can see it's the uh, eyes behind closed lids move rapidly around and brain waves are similar to those during wakefulness. Breath rate increases and the body becomes temporarily paralyzed when we dream. So these are the charts which shows you can see here 20 to 25 percentage is REM sleep whereas you can see the first stage is the light sleep slowly slips into the second stage and then delta waves you can see the third stage and then fourth stage the cycle then repeats itself but with each cycle you spend less time in the deeper stages three and four of the sleep and more time in the rem sleep that's rem sleep covers almost 20 to 25 percentage of total sleep time on a typical night your cycle is almost four to five times these are the brain waves and the sleep you can see here this is developed by eeg electroencephalograph you can see when a person is awake with mental activities is the beta waves that is the brain waves and awake and resting period you can see is the alpha waves and sleeping stage one and two is covered by theta waves and deeper stages of the sleep is delta but when it comes to the REM sleep rapid eye moment sleep it's almost like stage one and most of our dreams comes in this particular REM sleep circadian rhythm and sleep drive according to who there are two main process that regulate sleep one is circadian rhythm and the second one is sleep drive your body is built in sleep control your genes affects your sleep cycle what is this circadian rhythm they are controlled by biological clock that means it's depending on the light which again it ramps up the production of hormone melatonin at night that is when the light falls 
it will not produce melatonin it will it may produce melatonin but it will not release melatonin but when the light switched off you know it senses and then comes the release of the melatonin melatonin induces sleep this is the uh, structure of melatonin is a hormone it's primarily released within our body so when eyes receive light from the sun the pineal glands produce melatonin is inhibited it inhibits in presence of light and the hormones produced keep the you know human awake when the light do not receive light melatonin is produced in the pineal body and humans become tired this induces sleep of course our body itself is producing melatonin naturally but sometimes due to many reasons of sleep deprivation we may be put on medications but please make sure it should be avoided during pregnancy and breastfeeding and the second requirement for sleep is sleep drive sleep drive also plays a key role your body can't sleep much like it hungers for food throughout the day your desire for sleep builds and when it reaches a certain point you need to sleep you need to sleep a major difference between sleep and hunger you know your body can't force you to eat when you are hungry but when you are tired it will definitely put you in sleep even if you are in the midst of a meeting or maybe uh, if you are driving when you are exhausted your body is even able to engage in micro sleep episodes so this is about sleep and in the next session we will see the benefits of proper sleep thank you so much for watching my video and most important stay safe stay healthy and stay connected